the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Other brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us now call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Then the seed for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who fills St. John of God with a spirit of compassion, Grant, we pray, that giving ourselves the works of charity, we may merit to be found among the elect in your kingdom. Through Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down, and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows and bread to the one who eats. So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it, the word of the Lord. Be from all their distress, God rescues the just. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, from all his distress, he saved him. From all their distress, God rescues the just. The Lord has eyes for the just and ears for their cry. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. From all their distress, God rescues the just. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them. From all their distress, he rescues them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. And those who are crushed in spirit, he saves. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Please stand for to honor the gospel. <clears throat> Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. One does not live on bread alone but on every word that comes from forth from the mouth of God. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to Jesus said to his disciples, In praying, do not babble like the pagans, who think they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask. This is how you are to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive men their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive men, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. The Gospel of the Lord. The Our Father, it's a prayer that we all know. and It's probably one of the first prayers that we learn in life. Two things that are mentioned here that I would like to focus. Do not babble like the pagans, and then the Our Father itself. To avoid repetitious words that doesn't mean anything. 
to Babel prayers. It's not the repetition. Again, I've said this many times. It's not the repetition that the Lord is against. It's the babbling. Because how many times have we prayed, bless us, O Lord, and this thy gifts? Many times. I'm sure the Lord will not be upset. How many times have we said, thank you, Lord, for uh, answered prayers? Many times. I'm sure the Lord will not be upset. How many times have we said praise the Lord or amen or hallelujah many times? It's not the repetition. It's the babbling of words. You know, for example, it's almost like, you know, when you meet someone, it's always, hey, hey, hello, how are you? Do we really know what we're asking and are we waiting for the person to respond and tell his story of what has been going on the whole day? Uh, I, I don't think so. It's, it's just that, hey, how are you? Even, even before the response, we, we walk by. But there's so much in how are you? Because I can tell you exactly what has been happening the whole day today. Let's go I sit down, have coffee. I'll tell you exactly how I am. But sometimes we say words we actually do not mean it. Not only that we do not mean it, we actually don't even know what we said. And that's the babbling of prayers. And that is always the danger of the memorized prayers that we have, like the rosaries, novenas, uh, because of the fact that we have said this many times, it becomes something like bubbling, repetition of words. Because we know, we know our Father, you know, we have prayed that many times. But sometimes it just comes so automatically that we actually do not sometimes mean it. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. There's so much in there, but sometimes we actually lose the meaning of those words. So it's not the repetition of words but rather is the babbling of words, saying words that doesn't mean anything, or saying words that does not really come from the heart. So, that's first. The second is the our, our Father in itself. This is a very important prayer, because this is the prayer that Christ himself used to pray to the Father. And Christ is sharing this prayer to us. This is how he talks to the Father, how he talks to God. And Christ said, this is how you should also talk to God. Now, in the Our Father, the Our is very important. The Our is very important. And the Father, of course. But the hour especially, that pronoun hour, we don't begin the Lord's Prayer with Almighty God, loving God, all-powerful God, because some of the prayers we start with that, okay? Heavenly, Almighty God, Almighty, powerful um, God. But this one is Father, our Father. It is a recognition that God is not only my Father, but our Father. That God is not only my God, but our God. Not only their God, not only my God, not only our God, but our God. Because God is the God of all. God is not only a God of a few, is a God of all. He is our God. And so to address Him, to recognize Him as our one and only God, and not only my God, but our God, our Father. But also the second part is very important. The first person pronoun 
plural, our Father. But also says, give us this day, forgive us our sins, lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. Because we call God our Father, and so I cannot say, give me my daily bread. Well, you know, they also have our needs, but, I, you know, I don't care whether you answer their needs or not, but, uh, Lord, you know me. We are close. Give me my daily bread. No. Give us our daily bread. That's how important the prayer is. Because Christ wanted his disciples to understand this very familial concept of the community that he was forming. That it was, an, it was not an, an elitist group of selected a chosen few. This is really a family of God. And so everyone has the right to claim God the Father. And everyone has the right to pray, not only for himself, but for each one of us. And I would like to finally uh, link this to the gospel we had yesterday. You know, um, whatsoever you do to the least of your brothers and sisters, you do it to me. Because we are the family of God, the more difficult challenge is to constantly see the face of God in each one of us. We are the family of God. I'm not the only beloved son of God. Of course, privately, I can always claim, thank you, Lord, you know, I'm your favorite. <laughs> that was, oh, yes, of course. And your brother, too. <laughs> to see the face of God in each one of us. Because to see the face of God in each one of us is to recognize that I'm not the only special person in the whole world. All of us are. Because in all of us, God's face is there. Remember last Christmas what we emphasized? God is with us. Emmanuel, God is with us. Emmanuel does not mean God is with me. And maybe hopefully also in you. But no, in each one of us. And so to see the face of God in each one of us is to recognize, yes, we are all brothers and sisters in one and the same God. And so in our Mass today, we pray for that gift of faith. Gift of faith to always believe in our heart that our God is a very special God who is not only my own God, but our God, all of us. And that this God is not just watching us from a distance, but this God lives in each one of us. And because God lives in each one of us, we are challenged to see this God in the faces of everyone. So that when we pray, we know we're not only praying for our needs, but we pray for the needs of all the people in this whole world, because God lives in each one of us. <laughs> Mindful of the power of our words, let us now lift these words of prayer to our God who always hears our prayers. We pray for the church. May she always be strengthened by the Holy Spirit to proclaim God's word boldly and beautifully. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. We pray to those in public office. May the Lord grant them hearts of compassion and strength of will. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. We pray for those who struggle to understand God, God's will in their lives. May the light of God illuminate their journey. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. We pray for teachers and catechists. May they be given the grace to share truth in ways that draw others to the goodness of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. We pray for those who have died. May they be welcomed into Christ's presence in the heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. And today we pray in a very special way for all the souls in purgatory. 
and for Mariogi Juliana Urbano, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. And for all of us gathered today, for ourselves, for those who ask for our prayers, to whom we promise to pray for. We keep praying for an end to the pandemic. We know that in God's great goodness and mercy, He will soon bring about an end to this pandemic. We pray for the healing of those who are sick and the safety of those who care for the sick. We pray for peace in the whole world, peace in the hearts of men and women, peace especially in Ukraine, Russia, and all places where there is violence and hatred and war. And for all the intentions that we hold dear in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord God of truth and mercy, hear these prayers we offer you today. We ask this through Christ, O oh Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us our bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will be calm our spiritual drink. Let us now pray that my sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God Almighty Father. Receive, O Creator, Almighty God, what we bring from your bountiful goodness, and be pleased to transform this temporal sustenance that you have given us, that it may bring us eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just that we in our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ, O Lord. For by your gracious gift is here, your faithful await the sacred Paschal feasts with the joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer and in the works of charity, and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace and you, that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord, 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 you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he did the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullest of charity together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we are married to be co-heirs of eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we be always free from sin and safe from all distress. <clears throat> as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant your, her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world and our sins. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world and our sins. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world and our sins. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Our spiritual communion. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Thank mm -hmm. you.
Let us pray. Grant us to these mysteries, O Lord, that by moderating earthly desires, we may learn to love the things of heaven through Christ, O Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a beautiful day.